charity stream. So he went to a new loving household. Exit Prime. Snaj and the resub Sappy. And of course I do Sappy. I don't know who my favorite bands would be though. Hello, you absolute legends. The year is 2011, and this is me balancing a Guitar Hero controller on my chin. Whoa. The controller wasn't mine, it belonged to my housemate, and truth be told, this was the most action the controller had seen in a long time. By 2011, Guitar Hero Mania had dwindled, but in the it's late 2000s, James. it was huge with the franchise selling millions of copies. Even my sister owned one of the games, and I vividly remember us dueling against one another trying to get the highest score. The fight yeah, this was big. never seemed to last for long, however. I actually play guitar, which surprisingly does have a lot of carryover to the game. So my agile fingers were able to play along much easier than hers. Guitar Hero seemed like the kind of game that was fun for a few songs, but Is the novelty rogue? quickly wore off. Spider. And most people set it aside never to play it again. Personally, I found it incredibly fun, but I never took it seriously. It was more just oversaturation, I, I think. Real thing. And ironically, the songs seemed easier to play on a real guitar than on the game. Nowadays, Guitar Hero seems to be somewhat out of fashion, and the last popular game came out well over a decade ago. But not everyone put their controllers away. There is still a very active community of dedicated Guitar Heroes sweaty? doing incredible the things. One Tommy. And at the Thank top you. level, Guitar Hero is astoundingly impressive. I have never followed Guitar Hero and wasn't really aware of the kind of accomplishments people had performed Jesus in the Christ. game. But after spending the last couple of weeks within the community, playing the game myself and watching the best of the best, I am in complete shock. The things some of these players can do Jeez. with their fingers boggles the mind. And one of the best players in recent years, maybe even the best, was a player by the name of Shmui. Shmui was a level beyond what anyone had ever seen. He did things that simply no one else could do. Over a span of two years, he amassed a long list of world firsts, perfectly playing through the most difficult of songs, and often but he wasn't doubled doing it legitimately. the speed they were meant to be played. By the accounts of most other top players, and even Shmui himself, he was the greatest the world had ever seen. In fact, he may have even been a bit one too good. Is Some of his accomplishments seemed antics? inhuman. But Shmui had been around for so long and had seemingly proven himself so many times that the thought of any trickery taking place was immediately brushed off. There were some red flags though, certain glitches that seemed to crop up, or weird behaviours that couldn't be explained. However, there was nothing concrete, and he was so trustworthy that any investigations were half-hearted and didn't result in anything meaningful. Until now. Then, a bombshell dropped. When in L December got of 2021, Shmui posted another world first, playing through the song Nine Patterns of Eternal Pain without missing a single note, something that no one else had ever done. Everyone was blown away, and the comment section of the YouTube video was once again flooded with comments of amazement. But there was one player who noticed <laughs> something that was off. The finger patterns that Shmui was using through one of the song's trickiest sections wasn't correct. Based on what he was actually playing on the guitar, he shouldn't have hit all of the notes. This oddity was too egregious to ignore, and sparked another investigation from several of the top players. This time, they were serious, and what they uncovered was one of the most prolific examples of cheating we've ever seen. Shmui no, had been I'm taking sure it's not most that of his bad. accomplishments for years. In this video, we will take a look at this most recent example of I cheating and examine it. both the methodology used by Shmui to fool his peers and also the mistakes he made that led He's to his Michael. ultimate demise. It's a fascinating story, and I really hope you enjoy. Now, Legends 2022 is upon us, and I promise you, this will be your luckiest year yet. And when you do get lucky, you want to make sure you are looking your best, which is oh, why it's an ad. you should be trimming and grooming your special area. Manscaped. When you do mess Let's around go. down there, though, you need to be using the best tool for the today. I was going to say, what does I have to do with Guitar Hero? That was so prevalent in the late <laughs> like, 2000s okay, I guess I'm going to have to play Guitar Hero to look my best. And the popularity of the game has seen a steady decline over the past 15 <clears> years. The that shit is ass. I completely Hero disagree. Seen somewhat of a resurgence since Even before Manscaped sponsored, I really liked their products. The I think they're fantastic. Clone Hero, which is a near-identical port of the game to Batista the PC. Own, 
Clone Hero, while being an unofficial port, is extremely faithful to the original franchise, and was created essentially out of necessity due to the official PC ports being horribly botched, featuring very low note limits and frequent crashes. For all intents and purposes, the game is basically the same, as are the skills required in order to play well. Actually, can someone... he might answer this. Can someone tell me what this is? Do you just hit, like, it open? Just strum while open, these things right here? These lines? It is just open strum? Okay. Because that's not in Guitar Hero, at least not from what I remember. That's the, That always confuses me when I watch those Clone Hero videos. Exit Prime. Sonya. The game has four difficulties, easy with the least amount of notes and only requiring you to use three buttons, medium now requiring the later guitar you to use hero games. four buttons, hard well, like most utilizing people, I stopped all five after buttons, three. and expert, which also requires five buttons and contains the most amount of notes. The game does well to mimic some of the techniques used by real guitarists too, with hammer-ons and pull-offs and tapping. Obviously, the controller doesn't mimic a real guitar perfectly. A guitar has six me, no. strings with up to 24 frets, resulting in 144 possible notes to hit. Guitar Hero makes things significantly simpler, with no need to worry about horizontal or vertical movement. But what it lacks in complexity, it makes up for in sheer speed. Without having to worry about everything else, this leaves people focused on a single goal playing as fast as possible. Yeah. Players reach stupidly fast speeds. Here mm -hmm. are just a few clips to demonstrate what I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ. God damn. Oh my fucking god. I saw- I did see this one floating on, around on Reddit when it happened. It takes many years and countless hours to reach the finger reset, dexterity it? required to do these feats, and it's insanely impressive. Even more so if you are a musician yourself and you understand how hard it is to move your fingers this quickly. They are so quick that generally songs played at the normal speed are far too slow, so they need to speed it up to 200, 300, or even higher percentages in order to provide a challenge. And it's a cool Unless flex. they are custom songs, which are becoming far more popular thanks to the ease at which they can be made and played using Clone Hero. The pinnacle of achievement in these games is called a full combo, or FC for short. Playing through it's about an button mashing and not songs perfectly anymore? without missing a single note or making it's both. any what mistakes. The more they challenging the, right the song, notes. the more impressive the FC. Songs can be short and highly demanding, testing the limits of human dexterity, or they can be long marathons requiring continuous precision for up to 20 minutes. I wanted to get an idea about how hard it is to full combo an entire song, so I downloaded the game and gave it a go. And a huge shout out to Katana Mods for sending me a guitar. I chose a song that was around 4 minutes long. It was immediately obvious that both Expert and Hard were going to be impossible. To FC Ooh, any of this is not a good look, Carl. Take me months Amateur. Years of practice. So I settled on medium, which is far I haven't easier, played this game and I don't have to worry about moving my hand years, around but I bet I FC uses four buttons. At least one even song still, expert. sections on this difficulty were hard to play, even after years of actual guitar playing under my belt. I needed to practice sections many times before I could get through them reasonably consistently. But the true test is playing from start to finish. And to find out if I could do, do it. it, you'll need to wait until do the it. end of the video. I don't have Before a guitar that, hero here. Though, a guitar the cheating scandal hero guitar that has here rocked though. the entire community. Despite everything you're about to hear, Shmui was, and is, a really good Guitar Hero player. He attended real meetups and played in person with real players. However, as I've always said, and as history has and will continue to show, being good doesn't make you any less likely to cheat. It does make these kind of situations more of a giant shame, because all of that time spent getting legitimately good is simply thrown away. Like all top yeah. players, Shmui had been playing for years. As early as 2013, he was already uploading Guitar Hero videos to YouTube. He's only 20 years old now, so he must have been extremely young. 
though it would be in 2018 where he would really start to make an impression on the Guitar Hero scene, posting various montages of his best clips. One of his most impressive early videos was the song Don't Has AIDS in October of 2018, showcasing his impressive tapping skills. This caught the attention of the other top players who welcomed Shmui into the community where he would continue to share his videos and develop as a player. 2019 is where Shmui really started to shine, performing feats that even the best of players had tried and failed to do, and he would seemingly do them with relative ease. In June of 2019, Shmui's full combo of the section Solo F in the song Supernovae was his first big break that really put him on the map and made everyone take notice. Jesus in September, Christ. one of the greatest players ever, Friff, was grinding on stream trying to FC the song Zoidberg's Revenge, which would have been a world first at <laughs> cool the time song. when Shmui came out of nowhere to snipe it. Shmui wasn't just able to play songs perfectly with relative ease, but he could also do things that other people simply couldn't Thanks, physically do. A great Virginia example is the solo for I'm the One by Van Halen, which contains a section that requires you to strum at 22.8 notes per second. Jesus. Which is already crazy, but Shmui was playing it at 125% speed, which puts it at 28.5 notes per second. Coupled with technical fretting, this section is just insane. Between 2019 and 2021, Shmui accumulated a long list of world firsts and boasted achievements that no one else in the world could mimic. He even managed to win himself a bit of pocket money in the form of bounties. Various people would offer up large amounts of money for whoever could FC <coughs> difficult songs. Shmui did very well for himself, scooping up thousands of dollars. By 2021, Shmui was easily considered the best player in the world. The thing I do Shmui wonder what level he's at without cheating. And of course, whenever you start to do things this impressive, people start to become ever so skeptical. People start to play closer attention. Yeah, the best to players are the ones most details. likely to cheat, I and think. It wasn't just Shmuel's they have the most incentive. Made a few eyebrows raise either. While he had provided video proof for all of his major achievements, there were some oddities in his videos that were definitely noticed. The first notable instance being a full combo of the song Madness March Kamikaze from June 2020. The webcam is particularly dark in the video, making it hard to see exactly what is happening, but the microphone was working just fine, and you can definitely hear the notes being tapped on the guitar. Yeah, it's, that sounds this pretty, uh, pretty had good. Been FC'd before by the player Arch WK, and it was noted that Arch's tapping speed was much faster than Shmui's. It seemed as though Shmui was I couldn't to tell to hit every note, but ultimately this isn't anything concrete, and nothing happened. In April of 2021, Shmui uploaded his yearly montage the called Shmutage, which featured his best clips of the previous year. In one of the songs highlighted, the ending is insanely difficult, requiring a very specific technique to do it correctly. However, what Shmui actually played on the guitar was very different. This was quite obvious to the players who were experienced with this song, and several of them confronted Shmui about his playstyle. Shmui attempted to provide an explanation of his technique, but no one else could understand how it could possibly work, nor could they replicate it and neither could Shmui. He claimed he would show them in a voice call to prove it was possible, though that never happened. Aww. There were also a he ton of busy. weird stutters that would show Three up in various videos. Very obvious sections where there would be inexplicable dropped frames. Shmui claimed this was simply an error with OBS, the software he used to record his videos. Something else that was extremely bizarre was when he uploaded a Tech FC of Through the Fire and Flames at 250% speed in June of 2021. A Tech FC is where they play each section separately and then put them together. It's more like a theoretical demonstration of what might be possible. Like a segmented but then, run. mere hours after uploading this incredible display of skill, the video was removed. Shmui claimed this was due to a copyright strike, but people had noted that copyright strikes for this song hadn't happened in over a decade. Besides, at 250% speed, the copyright system doesn't even recognize the song. <laughs> what is convenient, True. though, is that the people who did watch the video immediately suspected that the video of Shmui playing seemed sped up. 
The movements didn't seem normal to the experienced players, especially some of the random movements that weren't related to the playing itself. But alas, the video was gone, so no one was able to study it in great detail. You will notice that I'm using the footage from that same video, so obviously it wasn't lost forever, but we'll Things get to that one, a bit later. No now, putting all of these suspicious elements spares. together makes it seem pretty crazy that legitimate accusations of cheating weren't levied earlier. However, there is still no concrete proof of cheating in any of these examples. They are weird and definitely suspicious, but not 100% reliable. To be fair, if this is the real footage, I would say you can absolutely with 100% certainty say that this is sped up. You can tell just by the way his body moves. Like it is clearly in like fast forward. Like it's super obvious. I think without a shadow of a doubt, you could say at least with this footage, it is post sped up. Lost forever. Like this, look at the way his arms move. Like when later. he goes from now, strumming to tapping. Now putting all of these suspicious elements together makes it seem pretty crazy that legitimate accusations of cheating weren't levied earlier. However, there is still no concrete proof of cheating in any of these examples. His clothes. Yeah, his clothes too. Definitely suspicious, but not 100% reliable. Also, Shmui had been attending real-life meetups and showing his skill in person. He's Granted, he was never as good as his videos, but maybe he was just having an off day whenever anyone was watching. He was still considered extremely trustworthy goblin. and was so involved with the community that any doubters would be fairly quickly shut down and shamed. And then it happened. In December of 2021, Shmui would upload a video that changed everything. Flew too this close to the just sun. This was suspicious, this was blatant, and it would expose Damn, one of the most water. prolific cheaters in video game history. Fuck, man, I spilled a lot of water on myself and now I'm upset. Damn on you, Shmui! On the 15th of December 2021, Fuck. Shmui uploaded a world first full combo of the song Nine Patterns of Eternal Pain. This song features some of the most difficult tapping patterns ever created, and Shmui played through the entire thing flawlessly. Everyone was blown away at yet another unfathomable achievement. This doesn't look In nearly hindsight, as hard as the other ones. It's actually hilarious that no one noticed the glaring problem with this video, but it would eventually be spotted. First, something else was noticed. About a month later in early January, several of the top players were watching Shmui's video in a Discord voice chat. Most notably was the player Jobu, who realized that during one of the later tapping sections, the technique that Shmui was using was completely wrong. Unlike the previous example of Shmui okay, playing that looks incorrectly, a more difficult. this was irrefutable. It was crystal clear that he was not hitting the notes he was supposed to be. The player Friff then reached out to Shmui, asking him exactly how he played that particular pattern. Shmui's response was both illogical and more pads. difficult than what other players would have used. And also, it didn't one. even match the technique that was shown in the video. But even that wasn't the worst thing about Shmui's video. For two seconds at the very end, a Windows Media Player overlay appears on screen, indicating that this wasn't a live recording, but rather a screen recording of another video. Why on what? earth would Shmui screen record an existing what? video? The bizarre inconsistencies were getting out of hand, and this prompted players to start going over many of Shmui's videos with a fine tooth comb. It also just so happened that his Through Fire and Flames Tech FC that had been supposedly struck down due to copyright had been saved by someone before it was removed, and they were able to get a copy to re-examine it in greater detail. Upon watching again, everyone seemed to agree that the webcam was sped up. Several well, I would hope so. I, enough, I'm a fucking decided... idiot and I can tell you it's sped up. You can just look at his clothes. His clothes are literally defying physics. Like, there's 0% chance for argument that this is normal speed. Unless this man literally has the speed force in him like Barry Allen, it's very clearly sped up. To confront Shmui with everything suspicious they had found. Initially, Shmui was adamant that everything was legit. Bert he claimed that he needed to re-record a media Isla. player video through OBS Ooh, because of rendering problems, me, which is why the overlay appeared on screen. Um, why at the end is there a UI there? For Windows Media Player. Because whenever I record it via video pad, it, uh, the rendering is all fucked and I had to re record it on OBS. He claimed that his techniques were definitely correct and any discrepancies might be due to video or audio issues. Makes sense. 
However, as the call continued mm -hmm. and pressure mounted, he finally confessed to a total of four faked videos. The vid of flames did get taken down by a strike, but I will say mm -hmm. this is one of the few times in which I tried to do anything suspicious. Oh. Everything else that people are looking at is going to be, Shmooey. you know, as far as I'm aware, legit, okay? But I will say with Flames and a couple other ones that are primarily old, that I have done some suspicious and non-authentic stuff. <gasps> Shmooey! What has he said about this video? Exit the bits again, Bert. Let's see. Is this him? Co-founder of Infatuate? Oh, this is an NFT account. Oh, Shmooey didn't even get the uh, the Twitter account Shmooey. Unless he sold it to an NFT guy. Yeah, this is just a board ape. What's his Twitter? Oh, I found it. He went private. Oh, that's no fun. Exit 5 gift subs Cirkini, and the 2 gift subs Maverick. Yeah, I see it. At least just give a statement like, yeah, I faked it. Fuck you guys, I'm out. And that was particularly with the flames. But... The method used was splicing, which is one of the most prevalent ways people cheat in speedrunning. Taking two different sections and using video editing to put them together because it's Takes just too expert. hard to do an entire thing perfectly. Look at how well he take. did this one. The most egregious example was through the fire and flames, which was spliced very poorly. You can see the score counter actually drop by 5,000 points at the splice. This was a massive error, which explains why the video was removed Ooh. immediately. Splicing in Guitar Hero is a bit more complex, however, because the game has to match the webcam. If you splice the webcam, that is immediately obvious. So in order to get around this problem, you have to record the game footage separately and then fake a webcam video over the top. Shmui stated in no uncertain terms that he only faked four videos and repeatedly stated that the video showing the Windows Ninja? Media Player overlay was Maverick. definitely real. But there was one more thing about the video that seems to completely debunk Shmui's story. While Windows Media Player stopped two seconds before the end, the audio of Shmui's microphone still continued. Oh my god. The only explanation for this is that he was recording his webcam video and microphone separately over the top of a pre-existing video. And as I just explained, that's exactly what you need to do if you want to fake a Guitar Hero score. The players now knew that at least some of Smoey's videos were fake, which is a really good start. Analyzing known faked videos is one of the best ways to learn about how to detect them. You can examine everything and I find just, out every all tiny of them difference fake, that may help uncover future Sucks. or even current cheaters. With None so much manpower real. devoted to this cause, if there were more Easy fake videos, it was inevitable they, they would metal. be uncovered. And boy, were they ever. On the 14th of January, a player by the name of Mattiazzi uploaded a video where he compared the speed of Shmui's videos side by side with his own game, and realized that Shmui's game was running ever so slightly slow. This wasn't noticeable to the naked eye, but when you run it through video editing software, it becomes obvious. And it's not just the speed of the game either, it's the audio itself. Given that a song will always play at the same speed, and the notes are synced up to the song, there is no reason for the songs on Shmooey's videos to be playing slowly. They soon realized there was only one explanation. Shmooey had been using a cheat engine to slow down Whoa! the game. He would play through songs at a much slower speed, which is obviously easier, and then speed the footage back up. But when he did so, it wasn't perfect, so there ended up being a slight deviation. This deviation could only be found through Shmooey's videos and no one else's. Through a full analysis, it was quickly realized that almost every single one of Shmooey's videos had been faked <laughs> this way. More than 100 Damn. videos over a span of almost three years. 
In the following day, that's, even that's more ways impressive. to detect speed hacking were found, confirming the conclusion multiple times over. And it wasn't just speed hacking. They knew that Shmui liked to splice, so the goal was to create a concrete way of knowing if one had occurred. They accomplished this by using the light pattern around the score multiplier. The ring is only lit in this way if no notes have been missed, and the light pattern should always be the same every single time. If the light pattern moves or jumps in a weird way, not only is this indicative of a splice, but it means the song before the splice had been altered in some way. Using the ring, even more splices were unearthed. Earlier suspicious Whoa. clips like the Van Halen solo with crazy strumming I mentioned earlier in the video were re-examined. Using frame-by-frame -frame analysis, it showed that Shmui wasn't actually strumming fast enough to hit every note. Ultimately, all of the weird oddities people had noticed over the years were legitimate clues to something more sinister. It just took several years and a slip-up from Shmui to unravel it all. On January 15th, Shmui uploaded a video, confessing that most of his videos were inauthentic. Oh, so he did he do didn't okay. go into any technical detail. Two days later, he posted a twit longer, confirming that he used a cheat engine, splicing, and auto strum. He also clarified that he played songs at 75% speed, and then increased the video speed to 132.5%. The math here is slightly off, as he should have sped it up by 133.3% in order to correct it properly, which is why his tracks ended up being slightly slow. <clears throat> to his credit, shortly after his full confession, Shmui also paid back all of the bounties he had won, hey, totaling yeah, that's a good several look. thousand dollars. He unlisted all of his videos on YouTube, privated his socials, and said it was time for him to go. Hey, good for him. Wait, that's a good look. This is definitely one of the worst cases of cheating I've ever seen. And one of the reasons for that is the relative scope of the effort Shmui put into his faked videos when compared to the size of the community. Guitar Hero has a relatively small group of top players when compared with some other areas of gaming like speedrunning or esports. There are a couple of exceptions like Asai, who has a very large YouTube channel, but generally there isn't much fanfare or popularity that Never comes when he with being Dicko the mode. best at this particular game. And yet, Shmui, over the course of several years, spent an ungodly amount of energy creating these fake scores with no real payoff. He didn't amass a huge following or have much to show for his cheated accomplishments outside of praise Coriant. and admiration from within the, the community itself. The On the hook. flip side, the devastation and the damage he caused was incredible. The people who devote themselves to Guitar Hero might be small in number, but they make up for it in dedication some spending hundreds or even thousands of hours trying to perfect a single song. When a player invests countless hours into being the first person in the world to do something, and then someone else claims that achievement by cheating, they are effectively stealing all of that time from the other person who will never get it back. And even if later that, is that what, person yeah, finds out they were true. in fact the first to do something, the moment is far less special. At the end of the day, point. cheaters are thieves. Stealing time, stealing energy, stealing fame, and stealing dreams from everyone else. If you do want to give back to the community, I definitely recommend giving some of the top level Guitar Hero or Clone Hero players a watch, as they really do deserve more credit for the crazy things they are able to do. I will put a He's link the in the description to one of, if not the, the greatest full Nacho. combo in Itsu the game's in history. Please go and check it out. Now, what you've all been waiting for. Was I able to full combo a song? You're about to find out, but I will say Fuck that yeah, you I were. was only playing on medium and the song was only four minutes long, I still felt a huge Soft amount Willy of pressure. Hey, fuck Getting yeah. through an entire Welcome. chart without making a single Maybe mistake is extremely nerve-wracking, especially at the end. Trying to do Why this relatively easy achievement really made me appreciate Guitar Hero players so much more. It's definitely it's something weird, well, you, I could never do myself. However, Community. I am happy to say I did get this run. God damn! He's going in. He's transporting me back to 2011. Yes. Oh boy, nailed it. Absolutely nailed it.
As, we As always, him. thank you so much for watching, you legends. I hope you Spliced, are having a fantastic yeah. day, and I will see you in the next video. As we said, Metal Gear and Jason. Good on him, Shmui, for returning all the bounty money. I would have assumed he just fucking bounced. Said, all right, foiled again, Hamoutski. That was at least a good gesture from him. He went out with honor. 